say that we want to have a cooper in the middle so it basically put all the uh, um, fields inside it so uh, we will go to the uh, default material and then select cooper sorry I have to add this part because it didn't uh, record for some reason so now I'm gonna um, show you how to uh, make the the, the coil part uh, so note that the, for the coil you don't need to go ahead and make the straight like a lot of like um, um, wires and like just make the wires and like um, model them it's, it's very hard to do that and it's very hard to make the windings what we are going to do which is the engineering way of to do that is to simplify that and make some model that is very close to that but it's it's very simple it's very simplified so to do that first uh, we select the copper for that and then we go and create the box and uh, I'm gonna just write the numbers here I'm pressing tab to go ahead for the number numbers um, 45 uh, 30 10 press enter and uh, for the DX type minus 20 minus 60 tab minus 20 for the DC so press enter so now we have your uh, your uh, box um, you can go to the art uh, attribute and uh, you can change the color of that so it's suitable for the uh, the cooper so the copper is like this so I'm gonna color that like this and then I press OK for that and uh, make sure that the model is modeled and also the solve inside and press OK on that now uh, you can see that the copper is inside the middle bar uh, from my uh, from the, the core part so the core part and the copper are actually touching each other so uh, you don't want to have that you don't want to have some part of your st structures to be two uh, things at the same time uh, a, a co the, the copper and the steel at the same time that doesn't make any sense so what you want to do is you want to actually the you want to carve in the middle of the the copper and make sure that the coil is going through the the coil and basically the coil is wrapping around the core the, the core so to do that you want to first select the coil and uh, I'm gonna do it from here um, well uh, let's double click on the box tree and call it uh, coil there we go so I forgot that so um, excuse me that part um, it already has a coil uh, in the because it's it's a new one that I'm making again I think it remembers the the coil the name coil so it doesn't let me to have the name coil doesn't matter it's coil one or coil two whenever you're doing it it just like goes into it um, just select that hold the control key and then select the core and then you want to subtract them from each other so I'm gonna subtract them so I want to make sure that the blank part is going to be coil and the tool part is going to be core which is going to go through the blank part and I want to make sure that I'm cloning the tool objects before operation so then I can not lose the rest of the tool so when I do that <clears throat> what I have is this shape that is uh, the coil uh, going through the core and uh, as you can see uh, it, it now it makes sense okay so I'm gonna uh, continue the video from this point uh, hopefully you don't see that much of a change okay now let's uh, make the last part of the of our mystery which is a permanent magnet so now uh, let's go ahead and select the box and put the following numbers uh, 0 for X um, you want to have a minus 10 
for y and you want to have minus 5 for z press enter and uh, go and say 10 for dx 20 for dy and 10 for dz okay now i have my box here in the art uh, attributes you can actually go ahead and change the name to magnet and also the color to something that looks like a magnet to you let's say red maybe okay these two are the same red okay and um, just okay actually maybe I want to have a bit less transparency okay. so now we have our magnet here and uh, we have to do another subtract hopefully this time I'm doing it faster uh, press and hold the control key and uh, select magnet and then select the core so I have magnet here and I have the core here and then I'm gonna go ahead and subtract them together and make sure that the magnet is in the tool parts and core is in the black so let's make sure that core is in the blank a magnet is in a tool parts and also you want to check the tools objects before the the clone them before the operation and then press OK okay now what we have is something like this okay um, there is uh, there was one uh, point that they mentioned in the tutorial also uh, and that is if you are an, if you know what you're doing uh, you know that many material has like some magnetized uh, axi axi for the, uh, the the way that it is magnetized and by default in um, uh, what do you call it ansoft the magnetization is in x direction so if you want to change that you want to change uh, basically make a new coordinate system and change uh, the magnetization system so now to do that uh, you have to go ahead and create a local coordinate system so you can uh, change the direction of the magnetization so um, so we can have it for example in this uh, direction that we want so uh, so this this part of the video is going to be talking about how to make a local coordinate system. To start that, we go to Edit and uh, select Faces, or you just press F as a short key. Uh, I'm pressing F, and now I'm in the face mode. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the top. Uh, let me show you. It's better. Do I move it? Um, so I don't know if you can see it well but what I'm trying to show you here is I'm going to select the top face of the magnet and uh, then I'm going to uh, introduce a coordinate system here uh, I'm going to go to modeler here and then to the coordinate system and then I'm gonna go ahead and create a face coordinate system okay uh, you can you can select the point or the XY that you want for your coordinate face or you can just put the values and then uh, make your coordinate systems uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, select the values which is in the middle of that so I just want to say 10 uh, for the X okay 10 for the X and 10 for the Y and 5 for the Z which is actually the face the top of the face press enter on that and uh, Uh, it should be the selected planar face. What do you mean? Oh, 
my bad um I, it was 38 for the x so there was something wrong uh let's do it again let's go to the modeler again and the uh, coordinate system and then create and then face and then put the numbers again and make sure that i'm not changing the, the mouse because it seems to be a very delicate thing so i'm pressing tab to go to the x value and i'm going to press 10 and then i'm going to go ahead for the y value press 10 for the z value i'm going to press 5 which comes to the right place and then press ok and then uh, for the dx value i want to have a 0 as it is minus 20 for the dy and 0 for the dx as you can see i'm checking the, the top face of uh, the select face to be my coordinate system i press enter here and uh, now i have Uh, my coordinate system here uh, which is the face CS1 or whatever it is and uh, now I'm gonna go to the magnetic uh, magnet that I have and I want to now change the met the the chord orientation that I have so the orientation the global orientation as I said is in X directions now I can have it in uh, the directions that I want which is the face uh, global face direction by the way make sure that the solve inside is always checked uh, otherwise you don't get the result for the uh, fields inside the magnet Okay, we we are done with the uh, faces, so I'm gonna right click and select the object, uh, or you could have just pressing O to go to the object mode selections. Um, I think here we are done with the. Uh, um, I forgot the. I can't believe I forgot the short key for. I think it's Control D. Yes, Control D is basically fit. So whatever it is, it fits to that and you can actually move it uh, so you can have a better view of what you have here so so next part of this video is going to be uh, about the boundaries and assigning the excitations ah!